Okay, hello. So I'm going to be talking about using the fetch function in your Svelte app. So here I am at the Svelte REPL. Whoa. Okay, um, so I've got a random image. That's what this is going to be. This is just my main app. And I will just get started here. So starting with a script and some HTML at the bottom, there's going to be an image. And the image will have a source like that. And it'll have an alt tag, but unfortunately I can't put a meaningful alt tag because it's just a random image. So I, I guess I can put random image will be what that is. Okay, um, so the fetch that we're going to call is from this URL, which gives you a random image of this height and width. And if you want it to be like a rectangle, you can do something like that. But we're just going to have a 300 by 300 square. Then you'll type dot then. And this, you will pass a function. And usually it's res, but I prefer response, just to make it obvious what it is. And then I'm going to set the source to uh, response.url. OK, so right now there's no variable called source. And one thing you might be tempted to do is do document.querySelectorImage.source equals response.url which you'll see works just fine. Um, but I'll show you that's not going to work because if I have, for example, if I've got three random images, then you saw it went through three different images because this is always the query selector is going to get the first image in the document here and target that each time. So to get around that, we're going to set a variable called source. Oh, it's going crazy. Well, I'll keep those, but, um, and we're going to, after this fetch has been run, we're just going to set the source to whatever the response.url is. And this source is going to be, we'll set the image to this source variable. Okay, so now we got three, just like that. Um, and we can simplify this since I have the same name to just that. And then here we can also, we can write if we wanted um, to have some placeholder text. So, for example, maybe I'd have this here and I'd say uh, the source is, and then I'll put what the source is. So that's kind of big, maybe. Okay, not good semantic practice, but I'm just doing that. Um, so the source is blah, blah, blah. And let's say we wanted to have a default here, so the source is loading. That way you can see as it's loading, it'll say the source is loading. And that might not be super useful on your, if you have fast internet or something, but if your network is slower, so if we simulate a slow 3G, then you'll see this is more useful. The source is loading. Um, or you could say like the image is loading, or you could do whatever you want. Uh, but that is the basic fetch there just like that and that is all okay bye